Behind me, 100 women are currently taking an IQ test to figure out who is the least and most intelligent. Can they figure out who ranked the highest? Welcome to The One. It's time for the first round, so we need the 10 people who believe they have the lowest IQ to leave. When you decide to leave, please exit by pressing the counter and then stepping aside. Your time starts now. Oh, oh. oh I'm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> the reason I left first is because I knew like one question on that test. So I graduated when I was 16. That is smart, but I also looked up the answers. So I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm more of a creative person than someone that is smart. I've never been that bright. In, in, in the, the books. I was like about to speak, boom, just a bunch of people left. I was like, oh shoot, well. Hmm. Guess I'll stick around for a while, see what's going on. It was really kind of upsetting to see that so many women were so quick to kind of dismiss their own abilities and their own capabilities and to leave immediately. But I know what it feels like to be in that position where you just feel like you aren't capable, even though deep down you are. Well, that's the fastest that's ever gone. <laughs> uh, let's move on to the next round. Welcome to round two. We're asking you to leave if you believe you're ranked 50 and below. You have five minutes for 40 people to leave. Your time starts now. Growing up, like I always thought of myself to be intelligent, but like I was like a B plus student. Like I never had like a 4.0 or whatever. And like I even didn't really do well on tests. Yeah. Have you heard that statistic, right? Like yes. if like applying for the same job, like it's much higher that the man will apply with less qualifications than a woman who's overly qualified yes. to apply for the same job. And then the man will like exaggerate what he's like yeah. going to yes. do. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I work in the medical field and it's predominantly male. And they often look down upon like, like female doctors. Yeah. Because in nursing, guess what? It's women, but it gets just higher up. It's men. So it's like we have to prove ourselves more intelligence wise, even though like a lot of men know that we're smart and we're in a sense. It's we like, it. yeah, men are like the ones who kind of predominantly take the field. And I wonder if it's like a deeper meaning that I won't really get into. Right now. As biology and applied mathematics, like women and intelligence is such a like super, super important topic because like we're super underrepresented in those fields as women. Like it's so empowering to see other women doing the things you want to do. Like I want to get my PhD. I want to go to law school. Like those are things that like seeing women in those positions of power and knowing like I'm intelligent enough to get there with them is so, so empowering. Women, we are growing in like so many ways, but then when a lot of people left at the beginning as opposed to like- It's sad. It made me sad. sad. Because it's like you should be proud of like out. you should be proud of how intelligent you are. Like society like puts women yes, down. I feel like women yeah. that's like the least thing we think that we're complicated. Yeah, yet sure. we are like insanely smart. I think it's also just taking an IQ test. Like people don't measure it, intelligence. Yeah. Intelligence yeah. and IQ it are two very different things. It can also be measured from like yes. your social skills mm. and like just stuff like that. <laughs> so like common sense street smarts versus yeah. just like a test. Yes. We got scores our whole life. Like we have a number in our head because they keep telling us yeah. our grades. And I think it doesn't even tell you if you understand the concept. It tells you how good of a test taker you are. I know. How good you are memorizing the material. Yeah. But it doesn't necessarily measure how much you understand. The right. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of people are going to underestimate themselves and sort of value the wrong thing and leave for that reason. Yeah. Ironically, I think probably a lot of people who left at the beginning probably were incredibly intelligent and yeah. they should have stuck around. I grew up a very smart kid. It kind of became the way I defined myself and I think it ended up being how I valued myself growing up. I was valedictorian and got really high grades and then went to college and did the same thing. And moving from a very achievement-based field into acting, the arts, which is so completely out of left field in terms of achievement-based, 
was a really hard pivot for me. It's honestly been a really important shift for me as an individual because I could no longer place value in something that I would get a number for. Yeah, yeah. I would say that anyone that's leaving, now that I'm talking, which might be me, <laughs> a, a little more emotionally, like confident in their emotional it's intelligence. It's tough because emotional intelligence is still intelligence. Yeah, like, but it's not like math problems. Problems. But they're talking about just IQ right now. Yeah, so yeah, based I off guess. of like this actual experiment, I guess like whoever should leave is like who feels like they didn't do the best on the actual test because that's what we're ranking. So I think I did. I think I had a teacher pretty much call me out and call me stupid in front of the whole class, and that devastated me because from home I had all this love and support, but when I was outside in the real world, somebody pretty much told me that I was dumb, and that really I took it to heart back then and. It really made me insecure about my intelligence. Okay, everyone, we have two minutes left. 40 people will need to leave during that time. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh my god! Oh, that's not like hard. That's hard. I just think it's hard. I mean, why not? That's not like it's in the top 10 of this. Guys, they're definitely at the club. I'm really good. Sorry, mom and dad, if you see this. I didn't have parents that are educated, and I feel like I have always been a little bit slower to learn, you know? So, like, I had a hard time, but it's no big deal. <laughs> In this envelope, I have your score, your rank out of 100 people. One is at the top, and 100 is the lowest. I'm going to hand it to you, and I want you to think about whether or not you want to open it. It's completely your choice. <laughs> I already saw it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm just going to open it, because I think that this will be... Comedy. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I can't even, bro. Can't do a test, can't open an envelope. So I got my score. You know what? That's not the lowest though. So I, dude, I only answered two questions and that's not the lowest. So I don't know, I don't know which one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You should definitely say. I feel like I feel like I should though. Like even I don't feel like I should. At least top 20. Yeah. It's more like society. Yeah, it's the social yeah. network. You know what I mean? Like, I feel happy. Exactly. Like, if you feel smart, for some reason, you can't, like. When you say, oh, I'm smart, oh, I'm intelligent, it's like. It's yeah. like, people, yeah, it's so cringy. It people yeah. think that you can't. I feel sad because it's like, some people might be smarter than others, but you yeah. can't say that because it's socially conditioned that you yeah. Yeah. feel, ba feel yeah. bad for being yeah. smart. Huh. Where is that thing? That used to be me not too long ago. Oh, hey, have you seen my little. Actually, could you get up for a second? Here, why don't you try this? What is this? It's a flavored air device called Fume. They're actually the sponsor of today's video. Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that is completely natural. No batteries or vapors, and instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural, delicious flavors and ingredients. Your Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing while breaking your bad habits. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 150,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com slash jubilee or scan the QR code and use code jubilee to get 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use the code jubilee to save an additional 10% off on your order today. Thanks so much to Fume for sponsoring this portion of the episode. <sighs> This is so smart. Now let's get back to the video. We're now left with the people who believe they're in the top 50 smartest people in the entire room. For this next round, we're asking you to leave unless you believe you're one of the top 10 smartest people. Your time starts now. So okay. that's definitely not me. <laughs> I, I know that. No, I, <laughs> no, I, I think, I right think you should stay. I no, really think. No. Bio and biochem, we're literally on the same, we're the same we both thing. Stay. Like, All the stuff people I stay. Yeah. 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 We were just talking about I didn't really grow up in like the US education system. In general, I like to consider myself an intelligent person in different ways, but when it comes to US standardized testing, yeah. I think yeah. being honest with myself, there is a gap in the way that I was taught versus how education is taught yeah. here. And on that note, I think I should politely exit, but yeah. Yeah. Bye, Chris. Bye, Chris.
I think I'm going to exit too because I feel like for me, the definition of being intelligent is just so skewed by society, yeah. which obviously I know I'm intelligent in many ways, but I know I'm, I'm good. I'm You're good. so smart. Yes. You got this. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's true, huh? <laughs> Alright, I know, but I'm not in the top 10, so I'm out. No, you yeah, are. I know. I stay. I'm not. Stay. I'm not. Girl, you're top 10. You better stay. You stay. You stay. You stay. <laughs> So I left when I did because I know for a fact, I'm very self-aware, and I know out of 100 people, I'm not going to be number one. I'm going to open it because YOLO, and why not? Like, I know that it's not going to be a very great number. What? This is not, are you serious? That's crazy. I don't believe this. And also, like, this is kind of cute because 10 is actually my lucky number. So I feel very shocked, but also proud of myself. I feel really, I feel content. I'm not gonna lie, I tried really hard on the test, and I'm good at taking tests, but that doesn't mean I'm confident about how I did here. I also just heard that somebody here takes a lot of IQ tests, which like, I don't know how, um, but she might be the one. Yeah. I know I'm not the one, so I'm definitely gonna leave. Yeah. I'm a biology and applied mathematics. I want to go into environmental conservation. So like I want to go for my PhD and like that kind of stuff. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Are you? What are you studying? Uh, no. I believe that majority of people do believe I'm smart from the way I talk. The energy that I put off is a thing that just knows about a lot of things, even if I don't know it. With a specifically an IQ test, I know that there are a lot more intelligent women in this room that have put more effort into learning these types of things. I am going to open this envelope, but I'm not determining this for anything. <laughs> I know that this is, not, this is not, I know I did not. No, I don't, I don't. No, this is, no, this is weird. Um, even though I said all those things, I'm, I'm in marketing. I have always been in the things in the arts, like acting and drama. I have not ever been like, the math part was so hard also. I did try. I tried very hard on this test, but I would never in a million years, three, I would never, no. So the test, yeah, I don't feel like it was a really good analysis of yeah. my intelligence because I was taking it on my phone that had three percent. That was just my fault. But I have had an actual like psychological evaluation for my IQ. Hey, me and you in the same boat. Mine was mine was for English literature. So they they ranked me really high. They also did that for me too. I was like, okay. For IQ tests, as much as people like to say they're not important, they are because it kind of gauges where we can go in society. Cause I mean, you don't want a brain surgeon, you know, being really good at art and awful at math. I mean, that wouldn't really make any sense. So I think it's important to a degree based off of what you as a person want to go into. Not the SATs though, nah, that's IQ. I think guys care more about IQ than women do. I've never cared. Also, there's times in my life where I felt like I was really smart because of like, yeah. the environment of it. And then, like, especially, I definitely felt like stupidest person in the room many times. But I feel like you can get always get smarter. So I'd rather yeah. be stupider and be getting stuff. No, okay, but don't call yourself <laughs> stupid because you're not. Like, I, you know oh, what I, it is? But I'm not really worried about my, you know what I mean? Like, yes. I know I got you whatever don't I need to, to, like... So. I get that. I wouldn't consider myself to be a very emotional person, but I get really emotional around like girls in general. I feel like I just feel really supported in this group. And I also feel girls tend to downplay their intelligence anyway. It just, it says a lot about women just trying to be humble. And I think humility is a good thing, but I also think it's good to be forward with your gifts, you know? Because you guys aren't leaving, I have to pair you up and you have to s decide between each other. Okay, so you two, you two, you two. You two, 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 and two. Now that you guys are in pairs, you can either leave together or one of you must leave. Oh, oh. oh. Are you so confident? I have an envelope here with your score. I feel like high school and college me would just 
die to know this number. I think I've done so much personal growth at this point that I honestly don't, I don't give a f I really don't. This isn't a mark of my value as a human being. It doesn't define how I treat other people. And especially being a creative, it doesn't have any impact on my ability to share with the world my talent, which is acting. So I'm gonna choose not to open it. One person from that pair. Okay. Wait, Maya, two people. Okay. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's just one more person. It's us. I believe. It's up to you. I know. I couldn't. Oh, are you sure? Oh, Enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, that's it. My partner made the choice and was like, hey, if you want to stay, you can. If not, I'll stay. So they ended up leaving, which I kind of wish I stayed. Mistakes have been made. Wow. I felt that my partner was more enthusiastic. I felt like she had something to uh, show and talk about, so I just let her do her thing. Oh, that's you made it. I was gonna leave before the top 10, to be honest, and the only reason I stayed was because people were telling me to stay. Um, I think friends are great motivators, and I've made a lot of friends here today, and I would say like it really made me feel like capable and worthy, even if I have a hard time kind of deciding that for myself. I prefer to process my feelings on my own, strongly agree. It is important to have an emotional connection before having sex with someone, agree. I do not express everything that I am feeling. Hmm, I strongly disagree. Isabel, I do not. Can we get back to filming, please? Are you fing kidding me? I'm finding my love print on the Nectar app. Oh, look! I'm an RWPO. How cool is that? You guys are the 10 that believe you have the highest IQ in the entire room, but we still need to narrow it down to just one person. You guys have two minutes to nominate who you want to be the one. Why don't we go around and say why we think it's us? Does anyone want to start first? Yes. Do you want to start? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm open to the idea of it being somebody else. I believe I have an over average IQ, so I'm actually planning on going to law school because I think I'm very structured with my analytical skills. So that's why I advocated for myself to kind of be one of the top 10. I went to law school, MBA, business school, and optometry school. So every school I've went, applied to, program I've applied to, I've gotten in. I really love to read, I'm an avid reader. So I average about 380 books per year and I almost have a photographic memory. Oh, that's me out. I was like, of a bird. I thoroughly enjoy cognitive skills, activities, and that's a strength of mine. And I graduated early from my university, and I uh, began a graduate program. I dropped out because TikTok, but that was a valid opportunity. <laughs> that was uh, that was an intelligent decision, in my opinion. Oh my god! You know what? I don't know. <laughs> uh, now that I'm in this yourself, situation, I don't know, but I will say I know like random facts. I have ADHD, so it's kind of like I forget stuff and then stuff comes back <laughs> aggressively. So book smarts, I don't know about that, but like anime, comic books, cartoons, arts, crafts. Oh, I know everything about that. But yeah, um, <sighs> I'm from Vietnam and uh, I was raised in a family where my parents didn't go to college. Um, I try my best to learn English. I came here um, like eight years ago. I study and work myself up. So in terms of intelligence, I feel like you also have to put a lot of hard work and have like a big autonomy. The thing like you can do it. I'm just advocating for myself, but I think I have chosen who I think would be the smartest too. Uh, my little anecdote <laughs> is that um, I started doing this thing, I came up with like a function, um, like a math problem function that I just did for like a grounding exercise. Um, and I started like telling it to people I went on dates with. So now it's like this running joke with like my friends and stuff that I'll give them the function on the first date or afterwards and then they have to like solve it to go on a date, the second date. But it's not about solving it, that's like, it's just like I like to see how they like think about it and how creative they are and if they have fun in the dialect, so. Um, yeah, I guess that's not really about my intelligence, but. 
a big reason that I'm here is because my friends have, and the friends that I've made here have been pushing me to stay, like encouraging me, like you are smart enough, you are good enough. And it's really awesome to have like women encouraging other women to stick around and stay. I'm really proud of my capabilities that I have. It's not necessarily like a competition of like what I do and what I don't do. I'm just really proud of like how far I've come in my own academic journey and like whether I'm the smartest person or not, like it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just like proud of my own progress and proud of my own capabilities. So I'd say that. Right. Hello, I know academics isn't all of it. Um, I've been in honors for like middle school, high school, college. Um, I've gotten scholarships, many awards. I plan on going to law school, which is like very rigorous and stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm the one, but I do believe I'm like up there. So yeah. Yeah, after hearing everyone's stories, um, I definitely don't think I am the one, but I really resonate with what Taylor said, being a woman in STEM. Um, I'm a chemist and all of my workplaces, even my classes back in university were all male dominated. And I felt like that always kind of made me feel a level below everyone else in my class. But again, with the support of my friends and my peers, I know that I am smarter <laughs> than what I think I am. And I think IQ too, it's it's a lot about exposure. It's mm -hmm. genetics yeah. and exposure yes. and like life experiences. I've had so many different jobs in so many different industries and I've worked amongst so many smart people that I continue to learn from day to day. And that I feel like has a lot to do with it. Her. A lot of the girls, when we, they were talking about themselves, started shaking and kind of getting like just nervous, to be honest, that they thought that they might have the highest IQ. It really did. It made me so emotional because I just feel like those girls were really smart and I wish that they, they were more confident and honest about that. Yeah, so I actually honestly don't think I have the highest IQ in this circle. I am so much more confident in like my emotional intelligence and other ways that I actually view intelligence. And I actually think that the person with the highest IQ in the room may not be the most intelligent anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm working on advocating for myself because at the end of the day, like being grateful for it and using it for something good is the only way I can make peace with it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Dang, this is difficult. I have a top three right now. Shoot. Compared to everybody else, their achievements, oh my God. I was like, dang, I'm sitting next to three people. I'm like, y'all are my top three. I was like, if I could pick three people, oh my God, the people are next to me, oh. oh I nominate Jezere. Yeah. I don't <laughs> agree with me. So thank you for the nomination. I personally think it's Nancy. I think a lot of people were talking about like how experience really builds you and shapes you. And I feel like you have like a really, really strong story that kind of like aligns with what we all think kind of builds IQ, so I honestly think it might be you. Thanks. Something's pulling me towards Sydney. I'm actually gonna vote for Taylor. Um, I think the way that you spoke, just like uh, el eloquently really brought things together and I was like, yeah, you seem very intelligent with like the thing, the way that you spoke about that, so yeah. Thank you. I agree, I think you were very intelligent, but I'm gonna go with Taylor because I think that what you said, I think it's a very like humble perspective for you to be self-aware like it's one of those people that's kind of like the background or like the sidekick, but they're super important, you know? And so I think that you need to step into your superhero thing and I think, you know, I want to advocate for you. Put your cape on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone, it looks like you all voted and have agreed that Taylor is nominated to be the one. Yeah. Everyone else, please leave the group. It's time to find out if Taylor is the one. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna open it. Um, I don't think that IQ has anything to do with like real intelligence or what I actually value in intelligence, so this number's not gonna mean much. Yeah? Okay, um, are you sure? Uh, okay. Okay, I guess I take it back. So I got two. Um, Okay, I thought it wouldn't mean much because I actually assumed that I would score really low. So this actually means a lot. I'm so surprised. I'm so surprised I would do this well. I tried really hard on the test, actually. I thought it was really hard. Um, maybe I need to take my own advice about being <laughs> forward and confident and intelligent, so thanks. Wait, are you sure that that was my test? Wow, thank you. What? Oh, I'm so excited. Ah.
It's my golden ticket. Oh my God. Am I gonna get chocolate if I open this? Lord have mercy. Oh my goodness. <gasps> That's awful. <laughs> what? Do I have to show it? I'm shook. Oh no. Please hire me. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm not, I'm very smart. Girl, I, th I, th I have a hundred people. Girl, I can't go outside. I'm not that intelligent. I don't read smarts. Oh Lord, I need to, I need to read more. Taylor, will you please step up on the podium? Okay, so how are you feeling right now? Um, Really nervous, to okay. be honest. Um, I'm very, very thankful that like people think so highly of me. Like I feel very, very respected in this group of women right now, which is something that I never thought I would say. Um, but it's definitely very nerve wracking <laughs> to be up here. Yeah, yeah. It's very tough to hear like so many other like amazing women talking about like how intelligent they are and to like stand up there and say like, no, I'm also, I fit in with these other women. So. Right. Now it's time to see if Taylor is the one. If the light turns green, then Taylor is the one. If the light turns red, then it's someone else in the crowd. Let's change the light in three, two, one. I'm so proud. Oh, it's really. Oh, you killed it. It's, it's, it's so out of your comfort zone. I'm not like sad that I'm. I know it's out of your comfort zone. That's so good that you did that though. It's so good. I can't believe people voted for me. There's so many people here that were saying you deserve that. Whether it was you or me. When it turned red, I was not disappointed. I I had a feeling that I wasn't the one. I don't know. I would like to know where I was ranked, but I knew that I wasn't the one, and I kept saying that, but nobody wanted to listen to me when I said I wasn't the one. Okay. Oh. I'm not unhappy that I looked at it, but I think like a big thing that I preach is like comparison is like I think like comparison really is the thief of joy and I find myself like getting caught in comparing myself to other people a lot. <laughs> and like I think it's something I really need to work on is to just like really like do my own thing and be my own person and like not compare myself to how other people are doing so I'm kind of mad that I just looked at it but it's nice to know where I stand and nice to know like maybe from like here on out I'm going to stop trying to compare myself to how others are treating me and like just go off of who I am yeah Okay, it's time to find out who the one really is. We tabulated everyone's scores and we found out the one really is on a heat Anahit, um, can you just tell us how you're feeling? Why did you leave early and how are you feeling now? Um, well, right now I'm shaking. I'm jittering, <laughs> I don't believe it. Um, I left early because I felt like there's just so many smart women in here and having conversations with them, like, I just felt, you know, there's just greater, um, greater intelligence, greater emotional um, intelligence, greater life experiences, like, and I just felt that, you know, I could compare, but I didn't want to push. I didn't want to do any, you know, put myself on top. Um, but here I am, and I'm still in disbelief, and I'm shaking, <laughs> and I'm grateful for all of you girls. Uh, I have so much love for you. <laughs> I was shocked. I didn't process it at first, like that my name was called, um, because I don't know, I just didn't really think about it like there's chemists and lawyers in the group and then I'm here <laughs> as a DJ <laughs> um, being number one so that's I don't know it was shocking all right everyone thank you on thank you everyone and thanks so much for watching we'll see you on the next the one <laughs> You're 
You're so smart. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs>